What's going on YouTube? Guard up on defense here back in the video today. This should be talking to you guys about some of these new gems that Mike Wing has been talking about on Twitter today. Honestly, there's some pretty decent stuff in here, but before we get to that new channel, sub button, there are 2,000 subscribers you like coming as well. And yeah, let's get in the video. So as I said, Mike going on Twitter today, I guess X, you can call it. Someone was asking about how the dunk meter works, and he said there's three meters, an arrow, but which is the default one. You want to release the button slash stick the moment the little arrow meets the big one. And for dial and ring, the ideal time to release is the moment those meters disappear. So I'm guessing he didn't really talk about the third one, but hopefully they get some of the ones I had in 24, because there's a lot of decent dunk meters that I kind of liked. So hopefully some of those return as well throughout the seasons. Another random dribble tip is that there's a new controller setting called Passive Dribble Hand Switches. Enabled allows the dribbler to play ambient crosses while standing still, waiting for the play to develop. Disable if you want to find yourself, if you find yourself getting the wrong dribble moves to play. So basically it's going to be kind of like other computers will just randomly dribble when they're standing still and switch hands, things like that. Which could be a bad thing, could be a good thing. Guess what to find on the I honestly think it's going to be a bad thing, but I can't really say yet. Because you never know, 2K being glitchy. And also there's... A change to those collisions, you know when people would jump and they're trying to jump at your pump fake and they kind of land on you. Instead, it's been toned down a lot. I really didn't see him a ton, but that could just be me. But this just basically means you're getting a lot of free layups now if they kind of jump at you and we'll just get a BS stop on you in the paint, which is nice to see. I guess it wasn't really anything I really had too much of a problem with, but still, it's a nice change. Also, the blow dribble is going to be back in the game, but the controls are going to be different. It's going to be holding the right trigger like before, but you're going to have to flick the right stick up instead of double tapping, which should be easier to use in my opinion, so it might be a little bit... Nice server trying to kind of cheese it a little bit, but if you do it without holding sprint, you're going to get a stutter step. And also someone asked, are the dribble combos still the same flick and right stick up without right trigger? And he said, yes, they're still the same, so they're still in the game. Also, you hold the right stick in the direction in any direction to contest shots now, and holding the right stick will also allow you to play vertical contest jump in context in the paint. is much easier to put a body in the shooter. Have to see how that is because he always usually says things like that. There's obviously a lot of value in the block button still. You're going to need to use it when you actually want to send shots away. And it's essential to hit a block if you're contesting from help side or trying to close the gap on a shooter. So again, he says this every year with triangles. supposed to be for blocking and still people just use it all the time. And it just never really goes that he expects. Uh, as far as this, to clarify, the right stick defense controls. Holding the right stick any direction will put your hand up on the perimeter and allow you to contest jump shots. So like he said before. When using hands up in the paint, the right stick up will allow you to play jumping contact layups if you're in good position. And holding it to the left or right will attempt layup strips. Holding down will allow you to wall up but not engage any active defensive blocker strip attempts. So basically like this year when you hold your hands up, which doesn't really do anything. So I think a lot of people are going to try to do the up, but that could be a lot of foul calls. It's hard to say, but we'll have to see. And one more note on the controls. By default, we made right stick defense camera relatives. That means you're going to be playing in 2K cam, facing the camera. Flicking to the right was do with your left hand. I'm going to change this instantly because I always play an absolute no matter what. And I think you guys should too. I think it's just easier to always know what direction to hit. It's, you don't have to think about where you're on the court. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.